Hello everyone, it's Leanne with the Star Support team at the Avon Maitland District School Board. And I wanted to tell you about an app called WordQ. WordQ is a word prediction app that um, is great for students who struggle with spelling and also with typing efficiency. What the app does is as you start to spell a word, it will predict what word you are trying to spell and um, it will give you different options so that then you can insert that word into the text. It will make more sense when I show you. The. So you can see that the words appear there and as I find the words that I want, I can um, hold it down to listen to it first and then when I tap it a second time it will insert the word, like the word dog that I'm trying to find here. Barked. And when I get to the end of the sentence, once I put the barked. punctuation and I hit the space bar, it will read the whole sentence back to me. The dog barked. This is a great feature for students who struggle with um, both reading and spelling because um, it is much easier for students to sometimes hear their mistakes than it is to go back and read and to check for mistakes. Often our brains will trick us into thinking that the text says exactly what we wanted it to say or what we thought we were typing, when in actual fact when we listen to it back we can hear um, that we've omitted a word or forgotten little parts or made a spelling mistake. The program also has um, a readback feature. If I was to type several sentences and have a paragraph here or an entire essay, um, I might want to use this speech bubble that is to the right of the paper and pencil in the top right corner, and this allows me to read back uh, selected text. So I select the text with the sliders, what I want it to read back, and then I hit the play button and it reads it back to me. The dog barked. When I go back to the paper pencil feature, I now have access to the settings as well. In the top left corner, you'll see the little wheel, um, the settings wheel. And when you open that, there are all kinds of different options in this program. So in the word prediction options, I can turn things on and off. You can see that there's one there for creative spelling, um, the maximum number of predictions. So you could have just a few words showing in the word prediction, or it goes all the way up to 10 words. You can also change the position of the word prediction. So I can set it to above the keyboard so it appears just like it would on the iPad, um, just above the virtual keyboard, or I can have it in a box on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the page. And again, these are preferences, and little things can make a big difference for some people, so it's really important to get, show students the different options that are there. I can also change the font size, um, and, and then I can go back into the other options, and they have things like vocabulary words. So you can add words that would be specific to the writing that the student is doing. For instance, in this example, um, we can add words that you would find in a Harry Potter book um, that you might not find in a regular dictionary. So you can type in the word, add it to the dictionary, and then it would pop up in the word predictions as a student begins to type that word. One of the other options is for appearance. So I can change the color scheme from paper to white to black. Oops, I'm going to switch it back from black because um, that is not a color scheme that works well for me. I can also change line spacing and font in that section. And I also have some speech options so I can change the read back voice and um, I can have it set to speak words or I can turn that off or on and speak sentences. For some students, they may find that feature annoying, but for a lot of students, it is very helpful. So you can see where this could be a very useful app. Um, it works well with the virtual keyboard, but it also works very well as it provides word prediction for students who have an external keyboard as well. Hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial about WordQ, and um, that's all for now.